as you probably can tell by the title down there, I'm going to be doing a GTY video today, and I did one when I had like 10,000 subscribers, and now I have 50,000 subscribers. And before I get started with this video, I just want to take this time to thank you guys so much for over 50,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. I can't tell you guys how thankful I am, because... I'm just like, I feel like I'm blessed. I know that 50,000 subscribers may not seem much because now YouTubers have like 1 million, 8 million, 10 million, all those subscribers and 50,000 may not seem like much, but to me, it is much. In the real life, or in the real world, 50,000 people is a lot of people. I just love you guys so much and I'm so thankful for you guys being here, watching my videos, commenting, liking. I feel like I read like 99, maybe 98% of all the comments that I get on my YouTube channel because I love reading you, what you guys think of my videos. So I just wanted to take this time to just say that. Now that we're done with that, I am going to start with this video. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about everything about a video. Planning, filming, editing, and then posting. So there's four steps. In all of them, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how I do it. And also, if you guys want to, I can do a how to start a YouTube channel video later. Like, because this video is mostly about, like, a video. But um, later, maybe I can do, like, a how to get your channel started and all that stuff. Okay, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna disappear. <laughs> So the first step to making a great video is planning it. So what I like to do is just find a book and just write down all my ideas. So when I'm out of inspiration, I just like to look in the book and find a video and do it. Something's in the air. Something's in the air. Whoa. Hmm. What type of video should I do? Uh-huh. Just where is it? Oh. Got it! Oh, so many great ideas. But most of the time, ideas pop into my head when I don't have the book with me, so... Fitness routine for summer. Perfect. Mom, where's my sunglasses? I can't find them anywhere. I should totally do a video on that. How to find lost items. The best. So I would recommend just writing the ideas on your phone. After that, you just want to roughly plan your video. Okay, so I should start the video with an intro and then continue with me saying some stuff and then having an introduction of every single DIY. I'm so good at this. I can't believe it. So when you roughly planned your video and you're ready to film, the first thing you need to think about is lighting. So, if you don't have artificial lighting like I didn't before, you want to use a window as lighting because it gives the best light, I promise. And then you can also use a chandelier or whatever. But just take notice of where you're standing in your room because lighting will be very different. And if you don't have a window or the weather is really bad, I would recommend getting a video light softbox. And this helps a lot. Just remember that natural lighting is the best. When it comes to cameras and quality, I record my videos with my Canon 600D. So I know this camera is a bit expensive, so no worries, it's actually all about the lens. So I would recommend getting the Sigma 1.3 lens, and then I would also recommend getting a memory card bigger than 16GB. So as far as background goes, I like my background to be neutral with some pop of colors. So colors that look great on camera is blue and green, but stay away from wood and stay away from dark pinks. It's gonna make your video look really dark. We all know no YouTuber starts out with a professional photographer filming them, so I recommend getting a tripod just so that it can film you when you need it the most. Oh, I know. So when you're done filming, you want all the video to come together, and that's where editing comes in. Okay, so if you didn't know already, I use Final Cut Pro and iMovie to edit my videos, but today I'm going to be showing you guys iMovie because it's free and I don't want you guys to waste money on a program that you don't need. So what I'm doing right here is just adding in all the clips from my photos and I'm just starting to roughly trim all of them so that there's not too much room where I'm not talking. And then I'm going to click this paint button and then I'm just going to be changing up the lighting just to make it a little bit lighter because we all want things to be lighter, don't we? And then I'm going to add in some effects just so that it's prettier to watch. I normally don't do this in intros, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do my effects. And then I also like just putting in a sound effect to the effect. So there's so many of you guys that have asked me how I do my text, like 
the cool text that you see before a DIY. So what I'm going to do is just go into Peak Monkey and I'm just going to be setting in the size um, correctly and then I'm just going to be adding in a box. You've seen me do this or have this box in my clean my room and many other videos of mine. So what I'm doing here to add in some color is just putting a bunch of flowers inside the box and then I'm just erasing out everything that's on the outside. So now I'm going to be changing the background color to transparent just so that we're only going to see the beautiful color of flowers and the white box. And then I'm going to be changing up the colors just because I want it to be a little bit brighter. So now I'm going to be adding in my text and because I have premium, I have access to this really cool text that you will see very soon. So now I'm going to be saving the image and remember to save it in PNG, very important. And then I'm just going to be going into Finder and clicking the image and dragging it into my iMovie file. So now, listen carefully, what you want to do is just click the image and go into Ken Burns. And then you want to set the start frame to one side of the image and the end frame to another. And when you got that done, you want to copy it, paste it, and then click the reverse button. And then you want to just copy both of them and just paste them and then you got it. video in the entire world but you may also have the worst title and the worst thumbnail so I'm going to show you how I do my thumbnails and how I do my titles to make people come look at that. So what I'm doing right here is just putting in an iMac and putting myself into a picture on it just because this is an editing video so I just wanted to make it fun and different than my other thumbnails and I'm just adding in a bunch of stuff and adding in the text and then adding in a box behind it with different colors of course. Face of the past, they're rapping at your eulogy The little Kim and them, you know the women And the way to make the boxes that color of the picture that I just chose is to put the effect on add Oh, and I almost forgot, remember to put the picture on 720x 1280 Because that's the sizes YouTube thumbnails use And then it's going to be changing around with the colors a little bit And then I am done with the thumbnail, wow Look at how I'm chilling, I'm killing this ice You don't even got when it comes to titles, I just like to search for the video that I'm making and then I just look at the title for that video and look at the tags as well. And yeah, that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hey, good luck with your video. I know it's going to turn out amazing and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!